Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dark Frontiers, a play to earn metaverse project coming up. Hopefully by the end of this year, this project is in early beta. It's actually not even in beta, it's in early development. But we can look here and see what this project has as far as potential in the future. So if we look down, you can see it is on Gate.io, PancakeSwap and backed by Game Starter and some of their token information. And if you click these links, it'll take you to their coin market cap uh, pages, which we'll get into for their native token, Dark. But first of all, they we're just going through the main page here before you really get into it. So first you do have, they did actually have their NFT suit launch oh, quite a while back. So you can buy these different, you know, suit space suits that give you a corresponding amount of hours of oxygen play time so like if you're familiar with a game for example like monster delarnia when you go into a different planet or area to explore you have a certain amount of oxygen time to explore kind of the same thing with dark frontiers i'm gathering is that when you go explore different planets you have a set amount of time obviously the more you spend the more time you you have some quick gameplay uh footage here and then they are going to have it where you can own land and mine energy. So if you see here, you know, dark token will be used to forge the terra firma NFTs, like the land NFTs. In order to obtain your own land, you must commit a thousand dark tokens, which will be locked inside the smart contract for two months. And when you have these lands, you can own them. So you can you can use them to build stations on or other improvements, which will give you more rewards. You can stake them in order to get dark energy, which you can use in the game to trade. Or you can trade them like usual NFTs. You can sell them, flip them, or take a loss, whatever. And a little bit more, you know, game footage. And if you look at the roadmap here, so, you know, quarter one, 2022, you can have... You know, their NFT marketplace and their blockchain with the land ownership. And then quarter two of 2022, you will have hopefully the pre-alpha launch, including the full, you know, play to earn mechanics of the game. So hopefully that comes very soon, because if so, we will definitely hop into this metaverse project all the way, because it looks very good. We'll get into a video here soon why I think this is going to be such a huge project and also just how undervalued it is so you can see here the roadmap and you can pause it if you want to read it and then again play to earn the mechanics here so you'll start kind of the roadmap for their play to earn you'll start you get your tools you use the dark tokens to buy your nfts to improve your gameplay and then you upgrade your assets you know, like your spacesuits, spaceships, and other tools with mined resources. And then you craft or you mine and fight, and you get more resources. And then you will have your bio ship merging. So, in a sense, when you have these ships, it's almost kind of like a breeding. So, when you take your two ships, you can merge them and create new forms and futures of your ships. So, you can see here all the different things that these ships can do. Kind of a cool symbol there. And then you can quest, craft, trade, discover. And then obviously put your email in to get updates. If you look here, if you go all the way back to the top of the main page, they do have their DAR token, their dashboard, and their white paper. And they do currently have DARK, their native token LP staking farm. So if you look here, you can stake the DARK token. If you want to get in, just start getting into this economy and having some rewards come in that way. You can stake it currently. Or if you look at their dashboard, you can see this is where the land staking is going to take place in the store. And it shows you just how early you are as far as development for, you know, Windows, Mac, OS. And this is not out yet, the rent now function. But so you can see here, we're still relatively early. We haven't even hit alpha yet. So again, super early. If you want, you can get in on the white paper. And you can read all about the project. The white paper is very, very thorough. So you can see here kind of the map in the game. You have the different lands. Again, those spacesuits we were talking about. Then you're going to have space rovers. And then those spaceships. Again, you will need spaceships to travel between different planets and areas and maps within the metaverse of 
Dark Frontiers oxygen stations, because again, you will be running out of oxygen the more you, you know, explore within the game. And then play to earn, it is a play to earn, you know, system here. And it's super cool, guys. I mean, it's, I could, we could spend, you know, quite a while in this white paper, but, you know, if this is a project already that you're interested in, get in here, read the white paper. It will, I guarantee you will kill some time. And again, just this game does play, take place in 2150 AD. You know, planet Earth is destroyed by a nuclear explosion. Humanity almost wiped out. And the only survivors are the ones left in space. So that's kind of the backstory of Dark Frontiers. And if we look here at their native token, Dark, you can see right now, currently at the time of this recording, trading for around 20 cents. And with a market cap of just four and a half million for a project of this scale. And again, and I've said it before on this channel, good games take time to build. That's something you're going to hear a lot in this space. And it's true. Now you see all these game projects, you know, with, that are so undervalued because people cannot, you know, see long term and see the roadmap ahead. They want a project that's done, ready to play now. But these projects of this quality and this caliber, they take a long time to build. They do. I mean, look at any AAA title game you play now. It took them years to build it. So don't be surprised when it's the same, you know, for crypto games. So even at a fully diluted of 50 million, it's still super undervalued. And you see here, just like with the rest of the market this year, kind of been a downturn trend. And you see that they did kind of top out late last year around Thanksgiving, Christmas time. At about 175, you know, right there. So, still huge potential. Look at the markets here, all the different places you can get it. Again, on Gate.io, Pancake Swap, and a few others. And just to show you guys the potential here, if you go to the Game Starter YouTube, they have a whole playlist on different updates of the game that they release over time. This is the most recent one, I believe. So, if we play it here. You can see just how crisp this game looks. It's going to be huge. I mean, this is literally has the means to be a triple A title game within the play to earn space, hands down. Not a whole lot of games look like this, especially if you can have, you know, your buddies in here playing and exploring the dark frontiers metaverse with you. If you look at their spin top page, you can see it is plan to be on the Binance Smart Chain and it's kind of an RPG style game and it just looks crisp and again I these games of this size and this potential they take time to build guys so don't be surprised you know if it's super undervalued right now it's not a bad thing that just means that they're building it and that's what these games take they do so give it time I promise you the potential is definitely here I believe that's just my opinion though none of this is financial advice but either way, guys, that is Dark Frontiers. Just my take on it. Just a project I'm looking at and I wanted to get, you know, bring it to your guys' attention. But if you can let me know in the comments below if you like these kind of projects or what your opinion is on Dark Frontiers. And if you're excited for it to come out and what other projects you're excited for that maybe I can review. And if you can like the video, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. All right. See you guys.